today I've been uh, thinking a lot about my uh, my history in music and what what I've done to get on this path that I've gotten on in doing music. Because make no mistake, this was not my intentional like not my in- intentional path from uh, what I set out to do when I was younger. I know Sire talked some about him, his music, and him being a musician, a producer, however you want to call it, you know, he, he makes music, I consider you a musician if you make music, and you know, there's more technical terms, um, I, I don't know if that's like a, a negative to call Sire, you know, a musician, um, I don't seem to follow the kind of the conventional trend of, you know, that snobby guitarist who's like, oh, everyone using buttons and, you know, samples and launch pads, that's not real music, and fuck you, dude, get the fuck out of here, uh, Mike, I get really wound up about that, and it's, you know, you're creating something, and I, I enjoy that, and I might not be into it, but maybe that's just maybe that's just me but to get back to what I was saying I am when I was young I mean elementary school um, I was a really big science boy science and art boy I enjoyed my space I'm not sure if, how much like Maple I am with this from Maple's last cast that she, they, sorry, they just did. Um, and I used to draw all the time. And that's not to say I don't draw now. I've, I've been doing some digital art, you know. Um, I do commissions here and there. Trying to you know show myself, but I, you know, some some people ask me for stuff and I'll do it. You know, it's pocket money for me. I'll go out and buy myself a pizza with it. Fuck it. But anyways, um, I fucking I. This was the time when I really got into anime. You know, um, the, my first foray into like this tsunami and like seeing DBZ, Kenshin. Pokemon, because the Scholastic did the book orders, and they would send out, and then send out, like, you know, cool shit, and sometimes they would have the book fair with the book order form, and you could get all these other stuff, and I got the, uh, Pokemon, translated Pokemon manga into English, and it blew my fucking mind just how fucking different it was from the show, oh my god, um, but yeah, and that's what started me drawing, because I really wanted to draw these cool fucking poses and these cool fucking dudes, um, and, and like, I was on that hype train for quite a while, and I'm, I'm mixed, so I have a huge influence, um, coming from the Houston area, and, like, there's a bunch, there's a lot of music culture down there, it's, it's different, um, it, this was around the time, I would say, on the radio, hearing, like, you'd turn on the radio and you'd hear, like, this weird mix of, like, not only who let the dogs out from, like, Bah, man, but, like, you know, Nelly's Ride With Me, fucking R. Kelly, Ignition Remix, and, um, all, all this other shit that was, like, you know, super catchy, fucking, it was that time of music, um, and I might be getting some songs mixed up here and there, it's a long time ago, but that's what I listened to, hip-hop, and, you know, R&B, hip-hop, all that stuff, because I wanted to be a cool kid, I never was, I, I was, like, us that 
by the big group I hung out with, which was like basically the nerds. But like, we didn't have like you know nerds, and we didn't have like this whole like nerd jock preps on that culture, and like goths and stuff. It was it was different. It was like it was just like it was people you hung out with like like-minded people. finding some rubber bands 
and I cut a hole in the shoebox. Fucking made a shitty little fucking like shoebox guitar something with like rubber bands around it, and it would kind of like act like the sound hole of a guitar. And it was really fucking stupid. I felt, I felt, I just felt dumb that I did it in the first place. And like, but my mom noticed. She didn't tell me that she noticed. And, you know, it kind of built over time where I would just like, you know, be like, man, it would be really nice to get a guitar and play some of this. And little did I know, this was like my music taste changing. And like, I still kept one foot in the hip hop scene, but one of the last big hip hop rap R&B that era bangers that I listened to was uh, Get Low. Um, Lil John, Usher, and them. Yeah, that was a banger. And I like that. I know that was in middle school. Um, and at this time, my friend gave me a CD of Gorillaz. And it was the first Gorillaz album. And I played the shit out of that CD. And I needed more. So then, I got a mix CD from him. He was like, you know what, try this. And then that CD had there when it was released as a single. And I was like, oh shit. This is fucking sick. And so, and then also, I heard he had the pillows on there. He had fucking right on a shooting star. And I went, oh my god. This is incredible. I've heard this before in an anime. And then all these lights that are going off in my brain, you know? You should play this. You, you should do this. And I wasn't sure why, but it was just like this path opened up. And it was like, you don't really want to do art that bad. Because mind you, all this time I'm pursuing doing art and drawing and like, you know, becoming maybe a graphic designer, maybe, you know, a you know, freelance artist or something. I don't fucking know what the fuck I was going for. I was just doing art. I was just drawing. Fucking in school drawing for art classes. Drawing. I like won a fucking contest somewhere once and I was just like, is this is that it? Like this all I gotta do? And I didn't quite grasp it. But anyways. And then my mom Christmas got me a guitar. It was the first, my first guitar was a shitty, shitty fucking acoustic. I don't think she thought I would have stayed with it. And, um, from then on, it's basically history, you know? I fucking taught myself over the years. Just been going and going. And over this time, you know, you kind of, you kind of just, you grow into your music tastes. I have a lot of nostalgia for stuff that I played on the radio at that time. Um, I, I never really was one to learn all the songs that people seem to learn, like, along the way. Like, you know, everyone is like, oh, yeah, everyone jammed to ACDC's Back in Black. You know, everyone did. I, I learned a learned riff. I didn't learn the whole song. I just learned that. Dun, 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 dun. I learned that part because yeah, why not? You know, play it, play it for somebody. I'll like it. But I didn't really find. I was just playing covers. You know, I didn't really find my own voice in music till really about high school. And this after this time, I had already found. You know. I went through my catalog of Green Dead, went through my catalog of Gorillas and all this stuff, and I had found my, my, one of my current most favorite bands ever, The Bravery, but these were all styles of music that I couldn't really write in, I, I just didn't, I don't know why I would try to write a song, and, you know, it, it came to me later what it, what it means to write a song. And what, what all the people describe is, you know, once you find the song you're writing, you just write it. And I didn't know what that was like because I didn't have my style yet. And 
it wasn't till about ninth or tenth grade I hung out with this kid I met in school named Warren, and I met him in ninth grade because I switched schools. He's, he, I played guitar, he did too. I had just gotten an electric guitar recently, and we were playing some stuff, you know. I like Metallica, he liked Metallica, we started talking to music, and he, he was far better than me, like, I, I it com, completely blew me out of the water, but, you know, God knows why he kept me around, like, I, I think I had more of an eye for, like, I had more of an eye for aesthetic of, like, songs, but he had the technical ability, and, you know, um, but I had the feel, I, 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 I don't, I can't compare myself to Jimi Hendrix, but, like, he's on another level, but, like, if you're taking Jimi Hendrix and somebody, like, I don't know, Paul Gilbert or somebody, I, two legends, right? And Paul Gilbert does a lot of technical stuff, and, like, you know his technical abilities there. You know, that's not to say his playing isn't, doesn't have feeling, but it's, like, he has technical ability. And then you go to someone like Jimmy, where it's, like, you'll hear the Star Spangled Banner, it's this fucking beautiful, chaotic, melodic mess, but then it's like, it's just so fucking moving, and it's not anything super technically impressive, I mean, I fucking could play that, I could, I, I mean, not like, you know, I couldn't play it like him, but you know, I could do the Star Spangled Banner, you know, the, the they got the tablature for it, and fucking learned it like Jimmy, and I fucking had a fucking rock out in my fucking room him and fucking felt like a rock star to myself, you know, I, I could do that, but I couldn't just go learn a Paul Gilbert song, like, get off my lawn or something and fucking jam that out, and yeah, that's what I mean, I, I, I could, I had the, the feel, like, I, I could feel notes and stuff like that, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it, it seems like a bit self-indulgent, but I don't know how else to say what I'm trying to say, but he was like, let's That's when my metal, the, the, basically my metal phase, which never really ended, started. He showed me Metallica, and he showed me Ride the Lightning and Kill Em All. And those were the two albums I kind of learned, sort of, from them. And coming from that, he's like, have you ever heard this band called Mastodon? So we were like driving one day and he's like, dude, you gotta check this band out, right? And that's not like I told you. And he puts in the album Leviathan and it just blew my fucking mind. How fucking, oh my God, I did this skull crushing fucking, this dude yelling about him finding, him fucking killing Moby Dick. And he's just, he's white whale fucking that song just gets me too hyped to this fucking day I'm, I'm just fucking getting giddy thinking about it and he's fucking yelling about it in the song and I can feel this energy and I'm like we have to play this we have to do this this is the music I want to write I want I found my calling and it I did we, we wrote some songs we you know it wasn't good probably you know fucking looking back at it it wasn't I could probably I, I know I remember the songs I could probably redo them at something at some point you know record them but this is when I finally felt like I found what I wanted to do this was my path this was music this is what I liked and it's funny because my musical stylistic influences don't reflect who inspired me to play. Because one of my favorite bands ever, I consider at this point, excuse me, would have to be Muse. I'd, I'd consider Muse the bravery and like Franz Ferdinand. Rage Against the Machine, because, you know, 
they, they all go hand in hand through these, like, they, they, I, I just love each and every one of them, and they made me pick up the guitar, I mean, fucking, the first I learned all the way through was Holiday by Green Day, and, you know, the, the first album I learned all the way through was probably Black Holes and Revelations by Muse, or Origin of Symmetry by Muse, or Green Day album or something, I don't know, and like, but the music I play is nothing like that, and it's, it's, looking back on it, I found that funny, because I still listen to all this music, and more, you know, that's my main content. Musical. 